Ladies and gentlemen, this is once again your main man from Lifestyle TV. Uh, we are here at this playa in Punta Cana called Bibi Wawa. It's uh, right next to, uh, ¿cómo se llama? Bávaro, Barcero Bávaro Hotel, which is a, a, probably like a five minute walk south of here so we're about to check out the scenery and uh i'm gonna let you know what what it is man we're here at the beach we're about to go check it out this is uh the entrance we just came through the entrance right here and um yeah man it seems like there's a lot of people out here I just came through. Um, I'm staying like 15 minutes away from here. Just hop on the bus to get here. So somebody recommended that for me to come check it out. So let's see what it is, man. As you can see, they have comida uh, de mar, uh, pescado different huts where they have different restaurants. Blue Marine Bavaro. Bavaro is like the zone, um, I guess it's part of the zone around here because where I'm staying at, it's called Bavaro uh, also. So, uh, as you can see, there's plenty of tourists. This is an area that's filled with the uh, tourists. Uh, here you have uh, different arts where you guys can come. Those of you who are into arts, you could buy. This look like a Haitian artist, man, because uh, Haitians are known for this. Me being Haitian, would know that. Hola. Como bien. Si. Pero cuánto vale eso? Depende de los precios. Esto es documento eso para mi canal de YouTube. Ah, okay. Un canal de YouTube. Y, uh, ¿Eres haitiano? Ah, soy haitiano también, pero de Miami. De Miami. Sí, ah, okay. sí, sí. Ah, okay. Sí, sí. Estoy aquí para grabar el ambiente en la playa. Ah, okay, okay. Pero parece que tienes uh, un montón de artes buenos. Sí, sí. We are now coming up. Over here, there's a lot of uh, stores. I'm gonna come back here to uh, to check check out the scenery as far as the different. Um, different uh, gift that, that they have here for tourists but uh first let's check out the scenery what's going on around here um, wow there's all type of art on the beach we are once again at uh De, ¿Cómo se llama ese, ese playa? Uh, I forgot the name. I, I said it earlier and I posted it on the on the I didn't post it but I when I was coming in through the entrance I saw it. But I guess we'll we'll we'll, we'll figure it out. See the scenery here. I, li I like that. This, this reminds me. This is how the beach looks like when when I was at um, when I was at uh, oh, where was I at? Um, oh, there you go. That's the name of it right there. Bibi Wawa. 
This is the name of the beach, Bibi Wawa. Playa de Bibi Wawa. We're gonna walk around this way first, and then after that, we're gonna see uh, what the scenery is like. kind of hot out here man that's why I brought me icy water by the time I walk around it's gonna get watery so I could be able to drink it because the sun is super hot very hot out here man you can tell this this beach is uh full of tourists you guys can see the scenery <clears throat> Yeah, man, Lifestyle TV, we out here. Punta Cana. Republica Dominicana. I'm gonna go uh, next to the sign so you guys could, uh, could see the name of the beach, how it's written. Just in case you wanna visit when you when you come to Punta Cana. And mind you, there's... Um, okay, this is it right here. BB Wawa. I see it pronounced. It's pronounced like this. Okay, this is um as you see on the board right there, they have like a a whole uh, strip of uh, stores um, over there where they have um, uh, different um, stuff like this that you see on the board and more of it. I'm probably gonna do a video on that um, right after um, I leave the beach. But for now, we're gonna take a walk. So walk with me, follow me. This is a this is a beach of tourists. Seems like 95% of people out here are tourists. So we're gonna just take a walk along the shores to see uh, what we can record. This, this seems to be a nice uh, relax. Uh, tranquil beach. Um, seems like a, it's a beach of uh, family and couples. So, I mean, I've never been to Sosua, so I, I'm guessing the atmosphere in Sosua is different. So, uh, as you can see over there, there's a lot of boats. That's like, uh, I don't know why they, I don't know if it's boats that's supposed to be a uh, station for 
for tours. But I guess we'll find out what, what they are for. Uh, actually, there's a this big ass boat that we see over there. Um, that's a tour boat, uh, I'm assuming. And there's also two other boats over there that's like given that's on the go. That right over there, on the way out. So, Difference on this beach is like it's a it's different from uh, when you are like in um, Cartagena, where the the merchants are bum rush you with uh, their products, trying to get you to buy stuff. But right here, it's more chill and relaxed, stuff like that. You know what I mean? So, give me a second. There's a restaurant. Where is it? Oh, that place there? Okay. What is it? That restaurant is called Jellyfish? Okay. Okay, well, tell, okay, just tell us what you do here and what are, what services you can offer the people that come here. I mean, I can't really tell you exactly what I do, but you know. I mean, okay, when I say what you do, and what service that you provide, here. I'm a salesman. You're the salesman. But okay, what, what do you sell though? Souvenirs. Souvenirs. And uh, you said you have jet skis but in other beaches? No, it's not like it's not like my It's not like your main thing, but it's just uh okay, I see what you're saying. Souvenirs. But I see I see a whole shop over there of souvenirs. Yeah. Like the whole, they, have too. they have they have them over there too? Okay. I mean, let's see what you got. But what kind of souvenirs though? Is it like bracelets and, and things like that? Okay. Because when I go to Colombia, I, I see the same thing on the beach. Like, yeah, I, 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 I've gone to uh, a lot of uh, Latin countries, Spanish countries, things I like. So, but what, uh, what part of the week do, do they have nice, beautiful women here? Is it mostly on the weekend? But today is, I don't see that many. You have to know where to find them. Not most of them on the beach. But I'm talking about on the beach. I'm talking about on the beach. Yeah. You only spy like two people. Oh, okay. No, I'm not. I stay like 10 minutes away from here. Okay, alright. Show me a shop. Here. 
you get shot. Huh? That's where I'm at. That's where I work at. You know, when I fight the clients, so that's why I take them. Oh, uh, you take them here? See what we have here. So, what do you have here? Uh, these are these I've seen them in Colombia. Uh, I'm familiar with these, but uh, those in the middle, I, I, I've never seen those. There's too many from here. And what, what do you call this? Huh? Larimar? Larimar? Larimar. Oh, Larimar, okay. Larimar. And these are nice souvenirs I'm, I'm going through. This to show you guys. Uh, those of you who comes here, you want to bring back souvenirs. This is what he has. Uh, he's basically showing me his shop. And what else did, did you have? But uh, are these all like handmade? Or? Yeah, it's like all of the souvenirs too. From the city, uh, okay. So, but these, you can find them at um, any different stores. It's not, it's not only for the store. Okay. Okay. Nice, nice. nice. But, uh, but what's the prices for these though? Because they're gonna want to know how much you sell them for. The, like what you just showed me, the Larimar. Five dollars, seven dollars, but uh, can they only pay in dollars or can they pay in uh, pesos? Don't mean that. Okay, five, five, ten dollars. And this baby coconut skin too, though. This is what? Coconut skin. This is coconut sk skin. Yeah. Uh, but it doesn't. When I touch it, it doesn't it doesn't feel like it's made no, out of a. They polish it. Oh, they polish it. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Nice. And those hats, how much you sell them for? 15, 10 US dollars? Mm -hmm. 10 dollars. 10 dollars. And these are like uh, African mask? Are they from here? Yeah, but it, to me. That's it, where they made them. Yeah, okay. Them. 